Tulsa's thinning blue line, twice as many officers are retiring or quitting than usual. And that means it could take an officer longer to respond to you in an emergency. News on 6 reporter Ashley Sims has the latest. Ashley? Jennifer, the Tulsa Police Department is down about 150 officers, and that means there could be fewer of these patrolling the streets. I, for one, have great concern about the number of police officers that we don't have working today. A budget crunch squeezed almost 90 Tulsa police officers out of their jobs. Now retirement incentives have lured 60 more out the door. The result, the force is down 150 officers, and the leaner police force could mean longer waits for victims of crime. The response times increase. Uh, as you have fewer officers to respond to calls, it takes them generally longer to respond to them. Deputy Chief Darrell Webster updated the city council on TPD's manpower. He says the shortage is forcing some tough decisions. Do you deplete um, investigations? Do you deplete narcotics? Do you deplete traffic enforcement? Do you deplete gang enforcement, school resource officers in order to have patrol officers? And that calculation could affect whether cases get solved. Higher case loads, it takes longer to work a case, and as, as I'm sure you're aware, the longer it takes you to begin working a case um, and the longer you have to work the case, the more difficult it is to bring it to a successful resolution. And a shortage solution isn't an easy or quick one. TPD ended all recruiting, so if they have to start from scratch... And it's nine months from first day of the academy to street, so you, you could easily be saying, you know, 12 month period. After a year, even more officers could have retired their badges. Now, several city councilors asked the deputy chief if those officers laid off in January will be brought back. The deputy chief told them he did not know, and the mayor has said previously that he won't take any action until he gets his budget, and that's July 1st. Ashley Sims, the News on 6 tonight.